you need results, you need to prove your results to somebody else, you need to submit uh, papers, you need to submit grants, you need real results, you need to produce to be a successful scientist. But on the other hand, you have to have this dreamer creative quality as well, which allows you to, to think of new ideas and, know, and go in new directions. Basel, situated on the banks of the River Rhine and the third largest city in Switzerland, has always attracted numerous scientists. Today it owes its economic prosperity particularly to the pharmaceutical and chemical industries, but also to the development of biotechnology. Here in the heart of Europe and just a few kilometers from the German and French borders, the Biocentrum of the University of Basel was set up in 1971. At that time, it represented a novel concept for a research institute to bring together the various facets of biological science under one roof. The Biocenter gained an international reputation very soon because it was unique and because we attracted quite a number of, of different uh, people and, uh, and you know, the, the name spread easily and the reputation spread and I think we have never, we have never had problems to attract very good people. It was back in 1987 that Michael Hall arrived in Basel, where he rapidly found his feet as a young assistant professor at the Biocentrum of the University of Basel. Born in Puerto Rico and raised in Venezuela, Michael Hall studied at Harvard and then worked notably in San Francisco and at the Pasteur Institute in Paris. It was, however, not always clear to him that research was to be his daily fare, with cells as fellow travelers. I, uh actually first decided to, to do medicine, but I decided that uh, I was working in the laboratory during the night and in the hospital during the day. And in the end, although both were interesting, I thought that, uh, that the research part was more interesting for me. And then I decided to become a, a research scientist. But this was rather late. This was already by, by let's say, the third year of university. And I don't think I would have been as happy doing anything else. And I, uh, don't think I would have been as good doing anything else either, so I, I think I'm a happy scientist. Yeah. Today, for Michael Hall, life as a scientist is highly gratifying. Here in Basel, he's gained recognition for his work and given new focus to his research. When he was here, he was an assistant professor. He was under pressure. He had to perform uh, to be sort of, uh, to be, become or to obtain a permanent position. Uh, and he had a topic, research topic, that was not going well, but not all that well. And uh, since he is a very clever, very smart and a very much liked guy, he was uh, finally promoted. And I think shortly afterward he discovered Tor, which was a major discovery. That was clear from the very early days on that it was a major discovery. And I, what I really liked about him and uh, appreciate about Mike, that he's very open. And he sort of went into that new topic uh, and uh, followed it up, made several other major discoveries, uh, and has really developed tremendously. This is rather unique, uh, and due also to first to his discovery and then to his personality. I've often changed directions, and uh, I uh, sometimes I've changed directions because I just became very bored with what I was doing before and wanted something new, uh, something that. Uh, uh, would, uh, I would find more interesting uh, or a problem, uh, it reached a point where, where uh, uh, it was no longer worth pursuing, uh, at least uh, 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 from my point of view. And uh, in the case of, uh, uh, of changing course uh, to study cell growth, this, is not, this was not a conscious decision. The science led us that way, the discovery led us that way. And I'm actually very pleased because it led us in a completely new direction, in a, in a, in a completely new field where everything was unknown and, uh, and there were many uh, interesting things to, to find. Cell reproduction is based on two processes, cell growth and cell division. While the latter has for several years been the object of numerous studies, cell growth, on the other hand, was less well understood. Through his discovery in the early 90s of the protein TOR, which controls this mechanism, Michael Hall has shown the way forward. Thanks to his knowledge, he's become a world leader in this field.
When you think about uh, American uh, researcher, you think like uh, very enthusiastic, uh, enthusiastic, very outgoing. Uh, this is not Mike. So Mike, it's very quiet. Uh, it's um, uh, it's nice. Uh, it's telling you, you know, it's very uh, correct with you. He's really trusting what you're doing. So and this is very nice uh, for people because you can start to sink by yourself. You don't have someone in your back sinking for you and saying you have to do that, that, that and that. And this is, uh, this is uh, very nice. There are many types of different researchers. He's not the weird professor. He, 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 uh, he stands on, on, on both feet. He's really focusing on, on the key questions and that's his strength that he really comes up with clear concepts and go straight to the point. He wants to answer this and this question and he does the experiments to do these, uh, to, to answer these questions. And also uh, he prefers to do science more than administration. I think it's clear in the building here in the, in the, at the science faculty that he would be an extremely good uh, chairman and so on. But I think he's glad if he doesn't have to do it because he prefers to do science. Always continuing the research building up knowledge while also keeping in mind the potential therapeutic applications of his discoveries. Michael Hall is constantly moving forward. Well, Tor is a, 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 what I would call a central controller of cell growth. And as such, it plays a key role in, in growth and development and also in many, uh, many disease uh, uh, conditions or disorders. Uh, these can be cancer, cardiovascular disease, uh, uh, obesity, diabetes. Uh, and it's actually become a very uh, important target uh, for, for drugs uh, in the treatment of these, uh, these disorders. We, uh, uh, we ourselves are, are trying to, uh, uh, with our, our robot, are trying to find ways to, uh, we're trying to find new drugs which can target uh, not only TOR but the whole TOR pathway. And the hope, and this will be many, many years down the line, will be that these things can be, these drugs can be used as, uh, uh, to treat patients. So we do very basic research, but we're actually very close to, to the clinic and the treatment of, of, of diseases in, uh, in, uh, with the hope of, of developing new drugs. It's here in Basel that Michael Hall has given wings to his career and also founded a family. Naturally, a multicultural family in his own image. At home, they speak English, French, which is his wife's mother tongue, then German, and also Swiss German with his two daughters, Leah and Zoe. Yeah, I think uh, this is something that defines our family. We're very international. Uh, my daughters speak four languages. Uh, I speak uh, a number. My wife speaks several. And uh, the irony is that I, my first language was actually Spanish because I grew up in South America. And uh, uh, my parents learned uh, Spanish as a second language. And uh, uh, I often laughed at my parents when they spoke Spanish and now my daughters laugh at me when I speak German. So, so uh, uh, I'm now uh, the victim of what I subjected my parents to. So it, uh, it comes back to haunt me. Uh, it's quite amusing. Reading, traveling, sport, sharing a meal. Michael Hall nonetheless finds time to relax outside his laboratory. Even if it's difficult for his family and friends to fully understand his work and research, they're well able to appreciate its scope and importance. They, they, are, they are part of very few people who do their work for the sake of their work and the sake of knowledge. And not to become rich and not to become famous, uh, but because they are curious. And I admire people who can really do that for as, uh, as a life. It's a little complicated for me and I don't really understand what he works, but well, I know he, I know he's a scientist. <laughs> when I get asked by friends what he works, I, no, I don't always know what to say because it's very complex. And well, I say it has something to do with proteins and microbiotic stuff, but I'm really not very confident. He tried several times to explain what he does. And uh, I've never really uh, understood completely what he does. But I'm sure it's very important because otherwise he wouldn't have made this price. And it's really nice to see that, I mean, all the work and all the time that Mike has spent in the lab, 
bring something so important. So. Don't forget, Mike doesn't have a job, he has a passion. Discoveries in science are something that you cannot steer. You can, we all try to do the best we can and some people will make major discoveries and some others might not. They might do a fabulous job, but discoveries are discoveries and science lives from uh, new de developments and from discoveries. And Thor was such a, a discovery. Mm -hmm.